Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. We've got a beautiful sunny day today, super clear. And yep, today we're gonna start taking apart this gallery. It is completely rotten everywhere. Got the carpet clearance in there, ripped off this board. Really scored a great deal. My neighbor lent me this hay wagon and he's got a, a big gully that we could dispose of all these boards. So I'm thinking that we're gonna just pop them off with a crowbar all the way through and then get the chainsaw to cut up the structure itself. But this deck has seen better days. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to rebuild it exactly the same as it is now. We're gonna use pressure treated wood. We thought of a whole bunch of different ideas. We thought of cedar, we thought of resin boards, we thought of all kinds of stuff. And based on our age, I think if we build pressure treated wood, we're gonna be just fine. So we got a lot to do. We gotta take up all the boards. We're going to dig out all this once it's all gone. And we're going to scrape it down so it's nice and flat and we're going to put down some crushed rock. We are going to go back on elephant feet with just a different setup this time. Let's have a look underneath. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but you know, it's an interesting situation. There's a lot of rot. So stick around. We're going to start popping those boards off. We'll give you a little drone shot from above. Let's get at it. Just in case you're wondering how rotten my deck was, have a look. First couple of boards come off, but man, that deck was due. Really due. Like, look at that. Crazy. Carpenter Ants have made a nice, big, beautiful five star hotel. Not for long. Let's do it. All right, guys, so in the fall, I put these four by eight plywoods down just simply because I went through the deck. <laughs> I mean, uh, unreal. And I brought my drill and everything home, so I'm gonna have to take these screws out by hand. Not the end of the world, but uh, we're at that stage. So I think we'll get a few more boards off and then we're gonna get the chainsaw out and start cutting out some of the, uh, the the deck as it is now so that we don't have to walk as far with the um, boards every time. So probably this week I'm gonna put the order in for the wood. We need a lot of wood. This deck is 33 by 17. So it's a big deck. I might square it up uh, to eliminate waste when I buy the wood. So I may reconfigure the size, but uh, I highly doubt it. So I'm going to get the rest of these screws out and then we're going to take some more boards and then it's chainsaw time. All right, guys, so have a look at uh, where we're at here. As you can see, that is what we call rotten deck finished so we're getting most of the boards off i think what we're going to do now is we're going to get the uh the chainsaw out and we're going to cut up to that first joist just to give us a bit more room to uh, pull the boards off so slowly slowly we're going to make our way forward that's real rotten so that deck's about 30 years old it was here about 20 years before we moved in and we've been here 10 years so it was done it's done it's time <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, we're motoring right along as you can see here. We're about, I don't wanna say half the deck, but pretty damn close, but we're gonna end up calling it for today. It's Sunday, it's really hot, and I've gotta work this afternoon. So we're gonna call it at the joists. We're just gonna chainsaw the rest of this down and uh, get it on the wagon. Hopefully clean up some of these cinder blocks and we'll start on the other side probably tomorrow. So let's get that chainsaw running. Looks like my uh, saw is a little needs sharpening. All right guys, so we're on day two of destruction and uh, it's coming along. So as you can see, we got, you know, all the joists along here. There's still lots of rot, seeing things. And that's about it. So we're gonna continue taking these boards off and then I'm gonna get out the saw and saw it all up. And that's gonna pretty much do it. So the plan is to try to get all this deck out this weekend. It's still really hot, it's still really muggy, but um, gotta get the deck out, get the wagon unloaded, and then I wanna level it and then create foundation with some crushed rock I got. So we'll show you that shortly. <music> All right, guys, so as you can see, we're getting down to the last boards to take out. And we're gonna cut it up with the chainsaw and then get it on the wagon. And on part two, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna level all this with the tractor, get these blocks out and clean it all up, level it out with the tractor. And then I wanna make 30 inch cuts because I'm going to put the joists on crushed rock and the elephant feet. This way we're going to have like a floating deck, but a more secure base other than this dirt slash sand that we got going on here. So let's get the rest of these boards off and then we'll uh, cut up the rest of this deck, clean up this mess, and we'll call it part one done. <music> got everything out we just got that piece right there not the plywood the piece on the house we're gonna get that off because there's a bit of rot in there you can see it sank a bit there so I guess we're gonna have to change out that ledger board got to get this stump out at least we're gonna try we're not gonna go crazy because who knows what's under there and then we got that piece that piece and that piece we also stacked up 
all the cinder blocks and elephant feet because we'll probably be able to repurpose those uh, going on the next deck. So that's about it. All gone. Massive pile of wood there. So thankful that my buddy's going to be able to help me get rid of that. So uh, that's going to be it for part one of deck rebuild. On part two, we're going to level out the ground. And then we're going to start digging trenches and use zero three quarter rock with probably some geotextile to create our base for the posts on the deck. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video and liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great summer. God bless. Stick around for the next one. Take it easy.